Summer's here, and you know what that means? Time to get wasted! But you want to do more than just simply get drunk. You want something to wash down that under-season, overcooked chicken breast your uncle grilled up at the summer pool park. And that's why I came up with five summer cocktail recipes. But not any cocktail. Cocktails made with America's favorite carbonated kidney killer, Coca-Cola. Mmm, artificial sweetener E. Now, if we're talking about Coca-Cola cocktails, we gotta start off with the classic, the Long Island iced tea. So, so grab yourself a cocktail shaker, fill it up with ice, and, and add half an ounce of the following liquids. Tequila, vodka, gin, white rum, and triple sec. And let's squeeze in the juice of half a lemon. Put the strainer on. And the lid. On quick work on cocktail shaking, one hand at the bottom and one hand on top. That way, as you shake, the lid doesn't go flying off. And trust me, I don't want John Taffer chewing up my ass. Grab yourself a tall glass, fill it up with ice, and pour our mixture in. Top it off with Coke. And top and fill the rest of the way up with Coke. Not Diet Coke, not Coke Zero, the original Coca-Cola. And uh, make sure it's nice and chilled before you serve it. Give everything a nice mix with a cocktail spoon and garnish with a lime wedge. Hmm, why do they call this Long Island iced tea other than the fact that it vaguely looks like iced tea? I don't know, I don't care. I just want more. Next up is the Coke julep. And if you already know how to make a mint julep, you're halfway there. Let's add eh, a quarter cup of mint leaves by volume to a slurp glass. Then let's add one teaspoon of sugar. Next, grab yourself a muddler, purchase the link in the description, and uh, mash these together until you get something looking like really thick pesto. I wonder if I can make a cocktail from pesto. Next, add two ounces of Kentucky bourbon. All right, next, get a nice tall glass, fill it with ice. Pour in our bourbon mint mixture. Top the rest off with Coke. Garnish with some leftover mint leaves. And boom. And then here we go, Coke, the Coke Julep. And the uh, best part, if you put enough mint in here, no need for a breath mint. Of course, there's always that one dentist that disagrees with everyone. Meh, yeah, screw him, more for me. Next up is the Lynchburg, because it basically combines the Manhattan cocktail with a nice cold Coke. And Lynchburg is geographically in between Manhattan and Coca-Cola's headquarters of Atlanta. Oh, and uh, speaking of Manhattan, here's a little trick I learned. And now the area code for Manhattan is 212. And that there is our recipe. Two ounces of whiskey. Oh, and uh, by the way, use a tall glass with ice. One ounce sweet vermouth. And finally, two dashes of bitters. And finally, top the whole thing off with Coke. Top them off with some Marciano cherries. And boom, the Lynchburg. You know, a nice classy drink, unlike actual Manhattan. I swear, you'd be surprised by the stuff I didn't put into my New York vlog. Next up is El Cuba Libre. And it's really simple. All you need is two ounces of dark rum and the juice of half a lime. 
Top it off with Coke. Give everything a nice mix with a cocktail spoon. And garnish with a lime wheel. And here we go, folks, the Cuba Libre. Named after the brave soldiers who overthrew Batista and launched a true worker's paradise. Oh. Well, at least the healthcare's free. <laughs> And our final one is called The Popped Cherry. And before YouTube age restricts the video, no Susan, popped refers to the soda and cherry refers to, well, cherry. Here, I'll show you. Add one and a half ounces of Marciano cherry syrup. Followed by two ounces of vodka. Top it off with Coke. Give everything a nice mix with a cocktail spoon. And finally, a couple of Marciano cherries. Mm, now this, mmm, the pop cherry. Now this is what I call a real cherry Coke. Oh, and uh, if you're linking the Adam Ruins Everything clip about the pop cherry, I'm gonna shove this tequila bottle so far up your end. There we go, folks. Those are five Coke cocktails you can make this summer. Now then, to go into work with a hangover tomorrow, what, you think I'm gonna toss this all down the sink? The stuff is expensive. This has been Chase Tutton Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making drinking fun. I'm meaning it this time.